Here's integrated three, it's problem 11-23. It says Omar was eight years old when he received $25,000 from his grandmother's estate. His father invested his money for him in a fund that earned 6% annual interest compounded quarterly. Omar's father was hoping to see the investment doubled by the time Omar was ready for college. Another fund offered the same interest rate but the interest was compounded continuously. The second fund was a little riskier, however. So the, I was only asked to do letter B, so I'm gonna briefly go over how you would get, you need the answers for letter A to do letter B. But um, so for letter B, I mean, for letter A, you would have just used this formula for um, compound interest. You could Google it or get it off of your math notes box. So the principal was uh, 25,000. So you'd put in 25,000 for here, and then they're asking about doubling it. So you'd put in 50,000 over here. But then when you divide both sides by 25,000, um, you would end up with a two over here and a one over here. So that's why there's no, that's why the, it's got just the two there. Um, and then this is one plus R over N. R was 0 0.0. Six, and if you divide that by four, because it's compounded quarterly, that's four times per year, that's where this, this is one plus R over N right here, and then N times T, four times T. And then this is what you got. Um, the formula for continuous interest is, the amount is gonna be equal to the principal times E to the RT, but again, it's the same thing that um, if the principal was 25,000 and you're trying to double it and you have 50,000, then when you divide both sides by 25,000, you'll still, get, still just end up with a two over here and a one over here. So these are your two formulas that you want to use for letter B. They're just asking you what is the, it says what's the doubling time for each account? Because in letter A, you found the little formula for doubling. Uh, which method will double the money faster? So you're just gonna solve for T. So you have these two and you're comparing them. You have to solve for T to find out what the time is. So I wrote, wrote the problem down and then I see that my T is up in the air. It's up in the exponent. So I have to get it down. And the only way to get down a variable if it's up in the exponent is to either log or LN both sides. I just logged both sides. Um, so I wrote log on both sides. And then now this is just some decimal. My calculator probably knows what it is. Um, log, log of two. And then this, I'm gonna use, there's a log law that says, if I have a logarithm, I can bring this exponent down out front. And so that's why you'll see right here that I have the 4T out front, okay? But then I was trying to solve it. I'm trying to get that T by itself. So I'm gonna divide both sides by the four and the log 1.015. So that's what I did. I, I see these are canceling out. And that gives me my T all by itself. And over here, I, I divided by four log uh, 1.015. And my calculator is able to just do that. So I just had to, I pushed um, log base, I, I pushed log two, and then I pushed my equal sign so I would get the number. And then I wrote, I pushed divided by, and then I put big parentheses around this and typed in four parentheses. I put in a bunch of parentheses and typed that in and pushed the equal sign. And then I got T is, 11.64. So you just have to be careful and use the order of operations. If you're not sure on your calculator, you can always calculate this decimal, calculate this decimal, and then divide the decimal, divide this one by this one. And then here I did the same thing. So here um, I'm starting out with 2 equals e raised to the 0 0.06t. On this one, I'm, I could either log both sides or I could LN both sides, but I know that LN of E equals one, and that makes my math a little easier. So I chose to LN both sides. LN of two is just some decimal that my calculator knows. 
Um, this LN of E, this, well, it allows me to bring out my 0 0.06T out front, but this thing is times one, so it ends up being 0 0.06T times one, which is just plain old 0 0.06T. Okay, because LNE is one. You can check on your calculator if you want to like calculate LNE and prove to yourself that it equals one. So now I have 0 0.06 times T equals LN of two. So I'll divide both sides by 0 0.06. And then I get T by itself. And LN of two divided by 0 0.06 ends up being that. So I can see that continuous, compounding continuously is going to take a little less time. But they said it was riskier, so maybe it's not worth it because it's not that much faster, you know what I mean, just for the, I mean, this is 11.64 years and this is 11.55 years. Probably doesn't make a difference. Your answer key says um, the difference is only about a month, so it probably isn't worth the risk.